Fora TV. The world is thinking. So, in fact, let's take a look at a chart from the IPCC where it's predicting what, uh, how soon this summer ice in the Arctic is going to melt. So this is uh, from the starting point. 100% means there would be no ice left in the Arctic. And they predicted that basically around 2080, about 2100, all the ice would melt. But in reality, uh, the ice is melting very quickly. It's about half gone now, and it's going to be all gone in the next five or 10 years. And if you don't believe that, if we take a look at actual satellite images taken year to year in the summer of the Arctic ice, starting in about 1979, 1980. And it ends there in the middle. I think if you play that forward in your mind just a little bit, you'll see why it's such an, you know, such an amazing thing. This is, not, by the way, not very subtle. This is something you could observe from the moon if you were there. And the problem is that ice reflects about 80% of the sunlight hitting it, and dark water absorbs about 80%. So as the uh, ice melts, there's more water exposed, more sunlight heats it up more, it melt, makes the ice melt faster. That's an example of a feedback. And there are a lot of other feedbacks in the climate that sort of feedback on themselves and make things worse. And after a while, if any of these kick in, they can, they can put out, for example, more CO2 or heat up the planet faster than we are. Once that happens, then it's out of our hands, and we're going to explore some of that as well. By the way, this is a chart showing um, this, is, this outer line was sort of the average from 1979 to 2000 of the summer Arctic ice. In 2005, it dropped a lot, and they thought, wow, that really dropped a lot. And 2006 was about the same. And then 2007, in one year, it lost as much ice equal to three times the size of California. That, that's a lot of ice. And this year, the last two years are tracking about at 2007, slightly more than 2007, but they're not. But there's other problems too. The ice that remains is thinner ice than before. It's younger ice. And so that's why this is already, but most scientists think this is already a done deal, that this is going to be all gone. And the other problem with it all being, now this is ice floating in the water. So it doesn't raise sea level. It's like if you melt ice in a glass, and when the ice melts, the water level doesn't change. Ice on land, like in Greenland, if that melts, it flows into the ocean, that would raise sea level. We're going to talk about that as well. But even though it doesn't raise sea level, it will make it, the Earth a lot warmer because there'll be dark water instead of this mirror reflecting the sun away in the, in the summertime. And the other thing it will do is speed the melt of permafrost, and we're going to get back to that.